So for pairing IoT devices, the process is quite unique. First, you plug in the board. So I'm plugging in, the board for pairing is the Raspberry Pi wireless. And when you open, um, open the folder, right, for the board, you have the info text file or the config file and you could actually see the board ID. Now, you could edit the board ID to uh, identifier if that's easier, but I'm just gonna use the default RP2 name as the identifier. So the RPI, that's RP2 name. And then for a property you can edit on the IoT Plug and Play app, I typed um, ping and then the device name, right? And this is the IoT Plug and Play app that's already previously connected to my board. So you press send and it's successfully sent to the Azure IoT which is um, pinged to this board.